Hey Mountain Bikers, this is Chris Wessels with MTV Trail Review, and today I'm bringing you something a little bit different than my normal trail reviews. We're going to look at a new bike. So, the Trek Superstore in La Mesa, California has been kind enough to let me take this beautiful little beast out tomorrow. This is the Trek Full Stash 8. As you may know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I am the proud over owner of the Trek Stash 7, and uh, I love that bike. I talk about it regularly, just how playful it is, how much fun it is on the trails. So I'm curious to see how the playfulness, the whippiness, if you will, and just the fun factor translates to the full stash. So I'm going to be taking out to some local trails tomorrow. And obviously I will be giving you more details once we get out there. But before we get going, I have Mark with me from the Trek Superstore in La Mesa. How's it and going, guys? Give you some of the details on the bike. So just a quick one through. This is a 29 plus model. Um, this is a full, full suspension, of course. We've got 130 front and rear. Um, with, the, with the 29 plus option, um, it's kind of the, the matcha truck of the, of the mountain bike world. We have very high volume, three inch wide tires, which will really um, mute out some of the, the, the chunder, the, the big thick stuff. Um, this, is a, this is not a race bike. This is by no means a race bike. This is a very fun bike. This is in, in a um, lots of things that you can do with this bike. You can do downhill. You can also do some cross country stuff. But again, it's not a race bike. It is. It is aluminum, um, and it's super fun. Really, really fun. So, would you say that if you're going to own a single bike, this would be a good choice? This is a fantastic choice. Okay. And this is a fantastic choice. Who, who should buy this bike? What type of rider should be looking for? The full statue. I think uh, a rider who, who doesn't necessarily have endless money, um, but a rider who also looks to have some fun, um, a rider who's looking to maybe jump, uh, maybe do some cover some rock gardens, um, I think would be a really good option um, for, for someone who is experienced with mountain biking but wants to progress to the next level. And I will be doing all of that with it tomorrow, so I'll let you know how it handles on those things specifically. And what, what sets this, part, this bike apart from others? Not just in its class, but just mountain bikes in general. Um, the biggest thing is going to be the 29 Plus uh, platform. Um, of course, we have our, our far, large volume tires, but we also have a 12-speed drivetrain on here as well. Um, so it's also going to uh, help with the climbs help with the descending as well, um, so that we can tackle those climbs. Again, the thing with the plus trend, we have nice wide tires, we can also drop pressures. Um, I weigh about 180 pounds, we could run about 16, 18, probably about 14, somewhere in that range. It might be 40, I'll probably run closer to 20 pounds. <laughs> but we'll see, that may change when I get on the trail. So, I am very excited to get this thing out. Thank you again to Trek Superstore in La Mesa. I will be talking to you guys shortly to let you know how it went. And uh, of course, you'll be with me on the trail tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon. All right, good morning. We are here at, I don't know, Pine Valley, Mount Laguna, somewhere in between, east of San Diego. And everything we're about to hit is an amazing trail system. It's one of my favorite places to ride. I actually have not reviewed this yet because we've been hitting so much else lately. So I will bring you a full review of this trail system on a different day. But today is about this. It's about the beast, the full stash eight. So I'm excited about this bike. I want to see how it does in these rock gardens. I want to see if the full suspension is going to take away from the fun factor or add to it. Uh, I think this is going to be possibly my next bike once my hardtail stash dies. We'll see. I'm going to make that, that decision at the end of the end of the ride today. But the reason I brought it out here is because this ride has a good mix of everything. We have climbing, both technical and easy, downhill, flowy, and technical. And we also have one trail with quite a few little features on it. So this is a great proving ground or testing ground for a bike. And we're going to see how it handles and how it adds up to every other bike I've ridden out here. We'll get riding shortly.
Okay, so this is going to be the first real test of the bike. We've been climbing for a while, and it feels good. It feels a lot like my stash. Look at that today. But this climb is very techy. It's very steep. And on my hardtail stash, I clear it. So let's see how we do on the full. Get into the hard part. Oh, pedal strike. I guess this bike's a little lower. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Pedal strike. Seems like uh, it's using it with more of energy. Yeah. I did in the Eagle too. Normally I have my uh, 1 by 11 going. So, I handled that chunky stuff really well. But, Oh, I'm feeling it. So normally I do that climb on my stash with my 42 in the rear and I make it. I was in the Eagle on the 52 and it felt harder. So I think the weight difference maybe, maybe it's the body geometry, feeling something. <sighs> so we're coming up on another pretty nasty rock garden with a slide incline on it, where the plus tires on my hardtail stash make a huge difference. Um, I don't think Dan's cleared it yet. I know Rob hasn't, but I've cleared it a few times on my stash. And I think part of it is line choice. Part of it's just the giant tires on the bike. So it's coming up here in a minute. We'll see how I do on this one. I will say I've gone through a couple other rock gardens leading up to this. And this bike handled him very well. Not surprising. Okay. Right up this hill, I think. Give me a little space. Nice, Dan. Whew. All right, handled that nicely. So we're about to get into our first downhill of the day. This is gonna be a really good test of how this bike does going fast downhill. Now, as we talked about earlier, this is not a race bike. It's not going to be the fastest bike on the mountain, but it might be the funnest bike. But to test how much slower it's going to be, we're going to have Rob follow me. And if Rob's pulling I feel on like me, that was a backhanded compliment. It's not a backhanded compliment. 
I think that was. <laughs> what he's saying is, I'm usually slower than him. Slower than him. So if I'm only slower than him, the bike is not as slow as my slow. <laughs> Why is the word slow so much? Something like that. Meaning. All right, well. But Rub has more fun than us, guys. I so. think I win best looking. And most, most fun that, having. That's all that matters. Yeah, you're the best at having fun. You're the best around. <laughs> no one's ever gonna let you down. I like the echo. Are we ready? Full party mode. Full party. Oh, should I go full story? party mode? Operations here. Broken hand Dan. Broken hand Dan. Me. Then SGR. the funnest guy around. Let's go. In his way a little. So Dan usually pulls on me on this downhill anyways, so we'll see how much more he pulls today. And he's not even on his hardtail, he's on his Enduro bike, so he's going to be flying down this thing, despite his injuries. I can hear Rob behind me. Feel that rock garden. So Dan's already gone and Rob's right behind me. Alright, we are in the luge. Good mix of tech and flow. A lot of leaves on the trail. So this section gets a little paddly. Well, I can still see Dan, that's good. You there, Rob? Ralph's not very far behind me, guys. All right, now we're gonna get a little steeper, a little nastier. Here we go.
think I'm gonna run over rocks every chance I get, just see how it feels on this thing. This bike is just eating this stuff up. I didn't even feel that. Woo! So, not too far behind. Nice, Rob. Nice job. <clears throat> the bottom half, this bike shined. On the top. On that chunkier stuff where... All the switch cracks are? Yeah. And it's got those root, root and rock drops. Yeah. Where, uh, you know, on the hardtail, you'll get bounced around a little bit. But it's not that bad. It, this thing's like a stable, I mean, makes sense because it is a stash. But it's like a stable version of my hardtail. So, so far, my opinion is this bike is awesome, especially on the downhills. But was it faster? Not faster. I would definitely agree. Wow, it's not faster than the... But funner? I think so. I think it was... Rob, is this the sunglass Rob of bikes? It might be. Big, beautiful, <laughs> strong, it's fun, it's expensive. It's not too expensive. Well, I'm not too expensive. <laughs> So far, I like it. More to come. All right, we're gonna hit Los Gatos Ravine. Are we stopping before the? Yeah, we'll stop before the features. Yeah. Windy stuff. Yeah, stop before the windy stuff. So this is a trail that has some features on it. It's super fun, and uh, this is where this bike is gonna either shine or I'm gonna decide that this isn't the bike for me. Here we go, Los Gatos Ravine. So one of my immediate gripes with the bike, uh, just looking at the specs, is it has the SRAM Guide R's. And I've had these brakes in the past, and I just despised them. But I'm okay with them right now. So that was my biggest gripe going into this ride, and that gripe's gone. Okay, coming up on our first feature. We're gonna do a sweeping turn into a little log jump. Ooh. I like it.
quick little climb. <coughs> Wouldn't wait for Rob, no one drop into this. All right, more gatos, let's go. So this section's got some flow. It's not in the best condition right now because we haven't had any rain out here. So this will be a really good chance to test this bike. Actually, this is where this bike will probably shine. <laughs> I will say this, it handles like the stash. And that's a good thing. So we're gonna get into some ride it out trail right here, ride into some sandy, really soft sandy stuff. Oh, this bike is just eating this up. Like more so than my slash does. That berm is all sand and I hit it like a normal berm. That sand burn was nothing. Really? Yeah, no, just right through it. So it's a good Play Valley bike so far. Yeah. A Laguna bike. I bet you they actually do really good on Noble. I would love to take All those Noble. rocks. I think yeah. they do really, really good. We're, we're damaging it? Mm, about that. I have to make a piece. We're going to let it rot pee, then we'll come back. Here's where we get the rest of the features. Let's go! It's not that hard, you got this. Little rock jump right here. God, I didn't even feel that. Trust jump. Go. Trust jump. All right, continuing down Gatos, we got our truss jumps in. Oh, just ate up those rocks. Whoop, bad line. So the further I get down this trail, the more I like this bike. It handles very nicely. Once you get your speed up, it can carry some speed. It just takes a minute to get it. See how bouncy it is. Whoop! No problem. <laughs> I almost fell. It's almost too easy for you now. Like, you're not even thinking about it. All right, let's keep going. Where's he going? I think he's gonna hit the bridge one more time. He'll catch up.
So this section right here gets fast and kind of chunky. So we'll see how she does. This thing? Yeah, I just ate that thing up, man. Did you just do that? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it again. All right, so we're into the meadow now. And there's a few little rock gardens throughout here. So this will be a really good area to kind of see how it does in the flatter rock gardens. This bike performs super well through Gatos. And from there, I'm pretty much sold. But let's see. Here's our first one. Take a stupid line on purpose. No problem. Dan, you want to pass? All right, Rob's Rock, here we go. This is it right here. Ate it up. Yes! Rob's having a day today, guys. <laughs> Rob's having a day. Just because it didn't even pull up. We have another big rock roll coming up here. It's pretty cool. And I imagine this bike is gonna just eat it up. Yep. Okay, we're coming up on a kind of nasty climb. With lots of rocks and whatnot. I'm gonna go right up the middle. Yes. So I just took like the worst line you can take and I nailed it. More to come. Thanks guys, one more. Thank you, one more. Ooh, it's windy.
Oh, no PR. That's okay. I don't. I wouldn't. Just give me rocks. Yeah, it's too tacky. You so we have a... Is, the time that I've walked the one section was faster than the time I cleared it because I was trying to like keep my reserve so much to clear it <laughs> that it was actually slower. That's hilarious. But it's I kind of crazy. It, which I think is more important. Well, I, I think so too. I've had right finish middle of the pack and I was scooting it long. Oh yeah. That was, <laughs> that was a fun day. That's like the day we bonded. Yeah, that was cool. Was I like, mean, now we're friends. <laughs> Would that take like an hour to fix? Dude, my back was bent over. I don't know why we didn't just climb up and wait till somewhere. I know, because remember the... the, the <laughs> On this last piece, uh, I almost wonder if it's a disadvantage. Because you're just not laying down as much power, you know? Anywhere? What? Is it not going anywhere? Well, you're, yeah, you're just not laying down the power. I can see it. It'd be great to have it on the, uh, on the climb up mobile. Yes. Oh. That'd be magic. I don't know why you want to take that bike up. That climb no. No, that would suck. Oh man. What's that? What's right. that one rock roll you showed me that I always went around but it was harder? Follow me. I'll, I'll start slow. Oh, I yeah. farted and that happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll start. I'll start slow because it's right yeah. at the beginning. All right. So now we're gonna get into the noble downhill, just the very top of it. And this section's super fun. Make sure Rob's on my tail so I can come into this rock roll. Okay, here's the big one. You ready? I turn a little hot. So that section was super fun on this bike. This is a bike that likes to go fast, I'm deciding. It likes to really carry that momentum, get these giant wheels going. Oh, love that section.
thank you. You almost got taken out. So we're back at the Trek Superstore in La Mesa, California, dropping off the full stashmate that they so graciously let me ride today. And I want to give you my final thoughts real quick. Um, thought number one, I love this bike. I had so much fun on today, as you definitely saw. Um, we got a little stupid. We had some fun. I did my best to pick the hardest lines that I could, and this thing just chewed everything up. The one thing that I will say for this bike, if you are considering it, is you need to have the power to match the beast. If you are not a very powerful rider, it might not be the bike for you. But if you're trying to become more powerful, this is the bike to go with. Uh, at no point did I lose traction. This bike just felt very planted, but still playful. But I really felt like I had to get the bike going. I really felt it on the climbs, anytime I was pedaling. But once the bike is moving, this is probably the most fun bike I've ever done. So, if you can, check it out, demo it, you will not be sad. And at a sticker price of $38.50, this is definitely a do-all, ride-all bike. I would have this as a single bike, and I will probably be getting one in the next year or two, hopefully. Jen, please? Maybe? That's it. Thanks, guys. See you next time. All right, thanks for riding with us today. If you made it this far, you obviously enjoyed my video. <laughs> and Rob's howling. So, don't forget to click the logo, do subscribe, check out more content. See you guys next time.